Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and good day everyone. I'm Hafiza from the Department of Electrical Engineering FKU HM. Today I will give a simple and short sharing on the NABC and state analysis and approach to idea evaluation. In order to understand uh, today's topic, we need to start by asking ourselves a question. Why do we need a mechanism to evaluate new ideas? I believe after the first IDP lecture given by Associate Prof. I. Abdukti, all of you already have a group meeting. And during the meeting, there are several ideas have been proposed and you need to choose one. And normally, new ideas have a lot of uncertainty involved. And therefore, we need to list the project strength and weaknesses. And what aspect should we consider to list in order to prioritize the idea? So we can decide which idea to implement, uh, which idea to test first, which idea to keep for later, and which one to discard. <laughs> Alright, so now let's move to the second question. How to evaluate new ideas? To do the evaluation, we must support uh, the idea with data. And data can be categorized into two, quantitative and qualitative type of data. As for quantitative, <coughs> the data is represented by a number. For example, you get uh, data from your measurement, you have a certain number. Or you get a uh, statistical data from surveys or report, right? So you can use that to support your new idea. And <coughs> for the qualitative, uh, it is in the form of pattern, for example, from your observation, okay? Or maybe you get an opinion from interview session or experience from uh, a group of people or agencies, right? So that can be categorized as qualitative. And for this IDP course, the evaluation mechanism that needs to be conducted is NABC and STIP. <coughs> and for this NABC and STIP, you can use uh, to support the idea using quantitative data or qualitative data or both type of this data. And uh, what are the steps? First, you need to compare your idea or proposal using NABC and STIP analysis in a table form. You have many ideas. Tabulate into a table form. Then, when you discuss in each of these NABC and STIP elements, choose the best one. And then, you start to defend your idea by writing all the aspects, the elements in your IDP proposal. And today I will share how to fill up the NABC and SIP table by giving uh, an example from a case study about a product that we call it as Neurobin. So Neurobin is a product in the market. You can search, you can Google. This is a non-invasive jaundice meter. <coughs> so why did I choose this product as a case study? <coughs> because this is a... <coughs> Sorry. Because this is one of the FKU THM inventions that have been successfully marketed. So if you look at this picture, this is the picture of Neurobin while it is in at the, lab, at the laboratory stage. So most of our students' prototype look like this. And I believe most of you did not imagine that your prototype like this can enter the real market can be commercialized, turned into the nice packaging like this. Alright. So let next let me introduce you to the person behind this success story. Okay, the product was invented by Associate Prof. Dr. Siti Zainal Muji and her team from FKE. And another team that brought uh, and realize the commercialization of the product is Rikoff Group Senyam Berhad led by I.R. Rahman Bahasa and I proud to say that uh, this Rikoff Group Senyam Berhad uh, 
Air Rahman and Hisdin uh, are FKEE alumni. Alright. Okay, so in order to list the NABC and state of Nirbin, so we need to understand the product. And I would like uh, to invite you to watch the movie. Okay, so that we can extract what is uh, the issue that led to the invention of this new Rubin. So let's start watching this. Okay, so in this scene, we can see that the nurse inspect the newborn at home, measures the baby's temperature and concludes that the baby has jaundice. Or in Malay uh, term, we call it as the mom kuning. So let's watch what happened next in the next scene. Thank you. 
Okay, so in the second scene, because of worried about their baby's health, both husband and wife bring the baby to the clinic for further treatment. In order to decide what treatment should be delivered, um, measurement of the baby's health was done by taking a blood sample. So as we can listen just now, the baby's crying indicates that the blood withdrawal process is painful. So <coughs> let's continue watching. We go to the next scene. Okay, <coughs> next, uh, in this scene, they meet the medical officer in charge of the clinic for consultation. And both of them are shocked when they know that their baby is good. Is in good health and have no jaundice disease. <coughs> so what we can learn from the video is, measure without proper tools can lead to failure in analysis. Eh? This is in the first scene. And in the second scene, we watch a medical diagnosis process that uh, require a painful procedure such as blood withdrawal. So this can be avoided by using <coughs> non-invasive technique. And the third that we can analyze from the video in the last scene, we learn that improper analysis without suitable tools done by the nurse waste resources, time, energy. They need to travel to the clinics and also causing discomfort to the baby. <coughs> and uh, from this video, we can understand and conclude that uh, the problem or the need leads to the invention is the first one is an accurate uh, measurement and second is uh, the measurement need to be done at the clinics because the machine is not portable so it can be done it, it cannot be done at home eh? <coughs> all right so that is for understanding the problem or issues related with this that leads to this neurobin invention. So now let's understand uh, the demand for neurobin. As for the demand, I'm using Google Trends to get statistical data on people's search trends. So I compare HFMD, hand, foot and mouth disease with jaundice. <coughs> jaundice is the disease that uh, <coughs> can be detected using this neurobin eh, jaundice meter. So in this uh, research, uh, in this search trend, eh, starting from two thousand four, in general the red line, uh, which is uh, represent the HFMD, it can be seen that in general it is lower than down this search. Uh, only there are two spikes here. Uh, I think it is around. 2018 and 2021. Eh? So it uh, these trends indicate the demand for jaundice search is higher than HFMD. <coughs> Alright, so now let's understand the features of the neurobin. So the neurobin use non-invasive optical techniques in which, like I mentioned just now, it does not uh, need a blood withdrawal, it is a non-contact process. So comfort for the newborn and second this device help to improve the accuracy using neural network neural network algorithm so these are the method or approach that they use to uh, solve the problem of uh, low accuracy from the previous method and <coughs> to solve the issue of uh, bulk in size machine, they use uh, the design the neurobin. You can see from the uh, comparison the size between the neurobin with the uh, hand. All right, <coughs> it is a uh, small, compact, and ergonomic. All right, and neurobin is not the only one uh, jaundice reader in the market. 
there are competitors which uh, JM105, JM103, build test, build check and build care. <coughs> Okay, now let's understand what are NABC elements so we can map the neurobeat information that we have uh, accordingly to this NABC. N stand for need. <coughs> In a simple word, what is the problem that leads to the invention? Or what problem you want to solve using, the, using your uh, idea? What problem you want to solve? And A is for approach. Okay. What approach or what method you choose to solve the problem highlighted in need? Okay, that is A. And B stands for benefits. What are the benefits of your product, of your idea? What are the benefits, the value? <coughs> and C stands for competition. Who are the competitors? What are the alternative now? Right, the option. And what's the difference between your idea compared to your competitor? So this one you have to do market study. What are the competitors in the market? Okay, now let's analyze NABC for neurobin case study. Let's start with need. Why the end user needs neurobin? So uh, to support, uh, to give statement and the problem, okay, and the needs of this neurobin. I choose to combine the quantitative eh, with qualitative statement. So the first quantitative statement that I choose here is, I cite from reference uh, written by B. A. Asoku, twenty twenty three, <coughs> where about sixty percent of term and eighty percent of preterm newborns develop clinical jaundice in the first week after birth. Right? So there is value here. There is number. So this is quantitative type of data and this data support the needs. The, the problem is about 60% of them, 80% of preterm newborns develop jaundice. So that is the main problem. Right. The second problem that I highlight in this uh, need <coughs> is the available uh, bilirubin reader. Bilirubin is a substance. Uh, that cause the jaundice disease eh? uh, low in its accuracy so low means I refer to less than 95% okay, so that is the second problem and the third statement I put here this one is the qualitative because there is no number here what is the statement the blood withdrawal process causes pain and discomfort to the newborn so I do not give uh, the value to represent the pain and discomfort. So this is a qualitative type of statement. <coughs> so let's move to A. A is an approach. For neurobin, the inventors choose to use a neural network algorithm as an approach to solve uh, the low accuracy issue. So I write it with a very simple statement. But in your proposal, you have to elaborate more. What does it mean by uh, increase the accuracy using neural network? And for your case, what are the approach, the method that you choose okay, to solve the problem? You have to elaborate in this uh, A approach. Alright. <coughs> for B, the benefit, <coughs> like we discussed previously, when, when we choose the approach of introducing neural network algorithm, of course, the benefit that we can have is we can have a better accuracy of reading for the jaundice method. Again, in your proposal, you need to elaborate how the method that you choose, the approach that you choose can provide that benefit. And lastly, for competition, <coughs> uh, I list all the competitors' accuracy. Okay, which is all of them are below 95%. Right. And from here, okay, it is clear that by having the approach that we choose, uh, we have a possibility to have a 
accuracy performance higher than the competitors in the market. Okay, now let's move to the STEEP analysis. So what is STEEP? STEEP is an acronym for Social, Technological, Economic, Environmental and Political. So what's the difference between STEEP and NABC? NABC analysis focus on the strength of the product or invention. As for the STEEP analysis, the external factors that I mentioned just now, STEEP will be studied and relates to the product invention in order to plan an action to be taken. So, the objective is to minimize the risk of failure. Okay, so now let's look what is uh, represented by the first S. S is for social. <clears throat> so, what we need to do is we need to examine the social factor such as the demographic, religion and lifestyle. Then we need to relate the suitability of having the product in this kind of social right and next is t for technological <coughs> same as social for technology we need to to study what are the, te the the current technology that we have and whether it is support or not towards the product uh, development and next is economy okay uh, the factors, the external factors in categorized under this economic uh, is such as taxes, inflation, right, <coughs> subsidies. Okay, so this we need to study and relate with the suitability of the product to enter the market. And second E is for environment. Right, uh, we need to look at the environmental issue that we have. Uh, whether the issue support or whether the issue block the invention. Um, for example, um, here uh, for the new rubin, for example, we do not have any um, anything related with uh, environmental issue. Okay, even uh, the product itself are very environmental friendly, very good uh, environmental friendly. Okay, so we can discuss on that uh, later eh, when we take a look at the study case. And the last uh, alphabet is P for political. So in order to make a decision whether the product or the invention is suitable, we need to study the regulation, right? stability of the government, for example, and policies that uh, they have. For example, um, that I can give... Uh, is cannabis okay. cannabis in Malaysia is uh, illegal right so therefore any kind of invention uh, related with uh, cannabis are prohibited okay so these are the an example eh, of the uh, political uh, factor elements that we need to consider all right so now let's look an example of steep analysis for neurobin <coughs> Okay, first, the social impact. Since neurobin was invented for newborns, so I'm looking at the birth rate and health expenditure to support the idea of this invention. Like I mentioned, the NBC and STEP, okay, the statement that we put is used to defend the idea or the proposal. Okay, So here, in terms of the birth rate, eh, in 2023, it is uh, expected to... Uh, 15.873 births per thousand people okay, which is quite high and in terms of the health expenditure per capita okay, and Malaysia rank 74th in the world so it shows a very good market uh, size for uh, this new rubin okay, that is the external factor towards the product Okay, we can also look at how the product uh, give impact to the social. Okay, so if you look at this case, the neurobin, uh, the invention of the neurobin will improve the quality of life. Eh? Therefore, we will have a healthy society. Next, technological. Uh, from the current status uh, in this country, okay, the communication and transportation facilities 
we can say it is good and support for the business of the new product and if you look at the manufacturing technology for example <coughs> it is also uh, have an option eh? we we have an option to outsource some parts of the product to to be manufactured where uh, sometimes eh, in some cases outsourcing the manufacturing can reduce the, the total manufacturing cost so that is the discussion on the extra factor towards uh, suitability to have this neurobin and we can also look at how the neurobin have technological impact okay so yes they have a technological impact why because uh, this invention this invention introduced a neural network algorithm which is we uh, the inventors apply new technology on this type of medical device young this meter and for the economical <coughs> the external factor that we look uh, is on the economic growth uh, due to the covid-19 pandemic even though the 2020 uh, in the year 2020 right the year 2020 is the year uh, that this european uh, penetrate into the real market eh? the economic growth is affected however at that year we can see that uh, the pandemic moves the growth in the medical sector so this is good for the new robin to enter the market segment and if we study also the forecasting on the medical device market in 2020 they forecast the 2022 medical device market is <coughs> will will be worth about 2.0 billion USD so a very good uh, data to support for the new rubin to enter the market and the impact of having the new rubin in the economical sector it create a job Eh? there are job creation and indirectly okay uh, will increase <coughs> the income eh? and generate income to the medical sector for environment i would say that there is no direct impact of the current environmental issue on the new robin eh? and for the new robin impact on the environment uh, as i mentioned uh, previously the product is environmental friendly because uh, it does not uh, require any medical strip for the testing so uh, it can reduce medical waste produced uh, in this world and for politics uh, maybe we because this is a medical product we have to take a look on the legal process for the medical registration for example and we find out that the current legal process uh, is possible to comply with so there is no objection eh? no issue for the product to registered with the MDA medical device authority and for the product impact the neurobit impact on the politic the, we can say that there is no specific impact on the political landscape okay so that is an example of the uh, on how to defend your idea using the steep mechanism eh? so to add more value to the project you can relate your idea with uh, SDG element SDG stand for sustainable development goals okay this SDG have been uh, introduced by WHO right you can visit the website uh, to learn more about this 17 element of SDG so the idea of this SDG is to um, a call to action to end poverty and equality eh, to protect the planet uh, to give justice okay, uh, to improve health quality and prosperity <coughs> so out of these 17 elements for the new rubin I can relate uh, the product with SDG number 3 which is good health and well-being because this is a medical device that aim to improve uh, quality of life and health eh? and the second SDG is on the 
innovation because uh, the product is invented innovate using the neural network <coughs> algorithm okay so that is the idea however you need to elaborate uh, okay on how you want to relate the SDK element with the product <coughs> Okay, so I think uh, that's all for my sharing related with this NABC and steep analysis. And now it is your turn to evaluate your ideas using the mechanism, the NABC and steep. Okay, and add the value of your proposal by relate uh, the product with the SDG element. And out of many ideas that you have and tabulate into the table, okay, choose the best one and try to write the best uh, justification okay a comprehensive qualitative and or quantitative analysis of your project proposal so thank you very much for listening and best wishes to all of you